The purpose of a color mode is to limit the colors we can work within to produce realistic expectations on screen of what the final output will look like, whether it will be displayed on a website, an iPad, a printed t-shirt, or even a printed book. This is done for both technical and aesthetic reasons. For example, we can use CMY color mode to prepare images for commercial printing so that our final image contains just the colors available when printing on a printing press. If we leave the image in RGB color mode, we are able to use colors on screen that cannot be physically printed while printing on press. You can see this illustrated in the graphic provided. The RGB color gamut is larger than the CMYK one. We can also use color modes to achieve a desired look or effect like a grayscale image or a duotone. Maybe we're only printing with two colors on a two color printing press, so we must use a duotone, which is a two color image. Or maybe we just like the look of a duotone, so we choose to limit the colors to being just two colors in the image. Color can be adjusted in a variety of ways in Photoshop. The first way is to choose a color mode and a color space to work within. We can use that same sRGB versus Adobe RGB example we've been using. Both options are using RGB color mode, but the color space is different because sRGB has a smaller color gamut compared to Adobe RGB. If you set a color profile, you only need to choose a color mode. Photoshop will know which specific color space you'd like to work within. Please see Lesson 1, Introduction to Color Management, to revisit color space and color profile settings if you haven't already done so. Everyone in ART 1280 should be working within the North America Prepress 2 preset profile, um, and if you're having trouble with it, we recommend reviewing the steps in Lesson 1. In addition to choosing a color mode to work within for your project, you will also want to change the colors you see on screen for the needs of your design for your project. There are many ways to make color choices in Photoshop, and they can include the foreground and background colors that you see on the Tools panel, the Color panel, you can use color pickers in a variety of ways, Swatches panel, and a variety of eyedropper tools, the, there's a color sample tool, you can use the Replace Color command or the Color Range selector, and you can use Hue and Saturation sliders to change different aspects of color within your image. We won't cover all of these options right now, but we will cover all of them between now and the end of the semester.